Ashley, what's your favourite Irish phrase? I have a friend who only speaks in Irish phrases. He just goes, ah, sure listen, look it, sure listen, we'll be grand, sure rolling stone, got us no moss. In ten years' time, we'll all be dead or laughing at something else. <laughs> <laughs> and you're kind of like, yeah, but I, I was asking for directions to your house, Sean, so I don't really know. Ah, sure listen, look at too many cooks, you know yourself. <laughs> Now, I also noticed earlier, I noticed you're wearing a very nice uh, jumper with uh, a robin on your sweater yeah. this evening. But if you're, the way your hair's sort of hanging over the beak, it looks like a potato. <laughs> Have you got a mascot today? Yes, I do have a mascot, actually. I, um, the last time I did the show, I was a little bit nervous. I feel like I lost focus and I wasn't entirely together. And so, yeah, I've been really, I've been really trying my hardest and practicing with a, a, a really supportive, motivating beatboxing friend, obviously. So, you know, just, uh, just to have him around, he really, he makes me feel better and more confident about myself. He's always testing me uh, on, on, on things. Uh, thanks a million, Ross. Uh, like, say, for example, so I'll try one now and just give it a go. Um, oh, uh, so looking for a nine letter on this. Possibly a uh, show busy. Oh, the show busy here. Yeah. <laughs> Great, good, 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 good. Well, um, so, uh, so like, let's try another one now. Uh, oh God! And again, I want to go for nine, nine on this, Susie. Um, Beatboxer! Oh, brilliant, yeah, great. Um, um, another thing now, what's it? Oh, I'm not great with the numbers now, John. Do you remember I wasn't very good with the numbers at all? But um, let me just see. Um, uh, 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50. 300! Me confident, you know. He's a great guy. Fair play to him. Oh. <laughs> Sean. Well, I had a five, and then I spotted a six. Gated is my five, but of course you could have had goated. <laughs> when you've been goated. <laughs> what, what's goated mean? To be to be goated. When you're goated, when you, you... <laughs> In certain satanic rituals, there's a need to turn you into a goat, and then you go. <laughs> we have goated him. We've turned him into a goat. You can be a goat, obviously. You can be a lecherous man if you're a goat, but also you can be a stupid person. <laughs> goat, but you can't goat somebody. You can't be goated. No. Yeah. What about if you're making love very vigorously? You say you go at it. <laughs> Our time in split is running out, but I say there's always time for a spot of amphibian taxidermy. What's this, Joe? This place is called Froggyland. As long as it's not full of frogs, then I'm absolutely fine. Uh, that's there's 507 here. <laughs> Froggyland is home to 21 scenes of everyday life from 100 years ago. But with frogs! Holy moly! <laughs> oh my god, are these real? <gasps> They're real frogs! These started being made in 1910 by a man called Ferenc Mere. Sorry, could you ribbit that, please? Stop. It took him ten years, and he started in 1910. You know, most of the world worried about World War I, but Ferenc had to make a thousand stuffed frogs, 507 of which are in this building. Would you like to know a bit about the process, Ashley? Uh, yeah. There's no incisions on any of these frogs, basically to stuff them. He just put loads of cork in their mouths, just shoved corks into their gobs. You know, in things like CSI Miami, it'd be the sort of storyline where they were like, there's no incisions in any of these frogs. It's like they've been stuffed through the mouth with cork. <laughs> <gasps> it lives. Should we, um, yeah. leave Froggy Land? I think if there's a plane going, that we should be on it. I love places like this. I absolutely do. And yeah. I'm going to keep that for the rest of the week. Mm. Thank you. Give Alex a special cuddle. Oh, no. I knew it. Most special cuddle wins. Oh, Alex. You have 20 minutes. 
My time starts now. Mm -hmm. I mean, my instinct is to remove all my clothes, but I think that that's just more <laughs> my general instinct is to do that at any given time. You've got a change of clothes. <laughs> what do you want me to wear? I mean, I have fallen slightly in love with you over the, over the weeks. Something. Jesus, this is awful. Will you just do whatever I say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. <laughs> I'll be right back. Interesting that your instinct, Ashling, was to presume that this is Alex's way of getting away with some kind well, of assault. Well, if you come into a room uh, and you know I'm a streetwise gal and there's plastic everywhere and a white man in a camera, you're like, I'm going to have to wank this guy off. <laughs> <laughs> it was an awkward atmosphere from that point for the next yeah. four or five months. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just excited. <laughs> <laughs> The white suited guy. I'm thinking, here's, a, here's an attractive young man. Yeah. But, I'm now to <laughs> but not, you know, let's, uh, let's spend a bit of time together. You're going to need a change of clothes. <laughs> uh, should yeah. we have a look at Ashling B's cuddle? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Alex, mm. you can't open your eyes now. It's me, sexy Cuddlebot 5000. <laughs> Here is your tea. I just want you to be so relaxed and really feel good about yourself. Ideally, that candle would be blown out so I don't burn myself. Could you blow it out? Could you blow it out, please, yes. Now that we finally have that candle blown out, and we can be alone. I'm gonna cuddle you real good. You can be sure of that. Cuddle you. They don't call me the cuddle box for nothing. Does it start? Mmm. Oh. How'd you like that? I like it. You want more, big boy? A little bit more, please. Uh, okay. A very special cuddle. Mm. <laughs> then I will stop. Fair enough. <laughs> That's how you do it, right? <laughs> That's how you respond to f feeling a little bit sexually threatened. You, yeah. you dress as uh, an overtly sexual yeah. cuddle robot. Yeah. You say things like, ooh, baby. <laughs> and then you mime hoovering Alex's face. <laughs> hoovering up all the, 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 the sex out of his lad. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did. I did definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I, d I suppose I did feel threatened looking back on it now. Um, and I did use all means to protect myself. I slightly misjudged the situation, sure. Um, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Right. Well, I'm um, a big believer in power dressing. So I'm going to wear for the show uh, this little uh, number. Um, and it's like, uh, it's called a tracksedo and it's got all of the trappings of a tracksuit in that it's a, you know there's a lounge like quality to it but then there's a sort of a, a formality and sense of occasion to it of, of a tuxedo <laughs> and then it's got like a little dicky bow at the side so Whoa. people yeah so people might be like where's she off to some sort of celebrity gala perhaps <laughs> <laughs> or maybe to get married in liverpool <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I've also got one for my uh, partner in crime here, the co-captain of the fun plane, as I say. <laughs> John, that's your one there. It's all right, um, John, it's sort of like a cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> what I've also done is, um, just to sort of relax us, get us in the mood, I've made us a little cocktail, um, just to kind of, again... <laughs> it's just because I want to make it special. So I've kind of, like, <laughs> made us up a little cocktail. It's very humble in many ways. It's just a couple of bits I found in the kitchen, just like the fresh berries, you know, a um, bit of Mr. Muscle, some things like that. Because <laughs> I often think if you can't handle a few kitchen products, if you ingest them, like, you should really be drowned in a bag anyways. So... <laughs> so these are just two little genius juices. There you go, John. To feeling great. <laughs> mm.
Well, John, you look like a novelty stripper. <laughs> <laughs> I've got minuets without the U in it. Mm. I'm having a minor breakdown, Jimmy. I've got oh. <laughs> a lot of genius juice. Mm. I don't think it's working. I did, I did test my genius juice on two mice. And one of them was completely fine, watched an episode of Countdown, got all the numbers and words right. The other one did go blind. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a bit worried. Ashling? Well, I'm going to try this. I'm going to make a brave move here, Jimmy. OK, sure. Be I got Jumancy. <laughs> You're going with a, an alternative spelling of a Robin Williams oh. film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is brave. Yeah, and I think I'm going to let Susie, my good friend, <laughs> fellow woman, decide. Oh. Help. Yeah, I mean it's tricky to decide because it's e yeah. It's I, I, I'm, I'm, see, I'm seeing I'm 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 seeing it. Yeah, you are. This is not so. It's tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, did I have Countdown in Ireland? Yes, I've actually never watched Countdown before because I'm not a nerd. Um, no, but I'm... <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think I might be brilliant at it, and I think with John, I'm on the same team. I think, we're, I think we're with a really good chance of winning on this Doesn't team. Doesn't sound like we're on the same team with all your nerd chat. <laughs> I'm very excited to be on uh, John's team. I think it's going to go really well. There's no I in genius. <laughs> <laughs>
highest tower wins. Also, whilst building your tower, you must shake Alex's hand and say you're from a different country. Once every 10 seconds. Alex will blow his whistle every 10 seconds. Your time ends when you fail to shake Alex's hand and say you're from a different country before Alex blows his whistle. I'm going to blow the whistle, so before it blows again, you've got to come and shake my hand and say you're from a different country. Your time starts when Alex blows his whistle. Wait, 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 wait. Boop. That's falling over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's building a stack of cans? They had to come and shake my hands and say they were from a different country every 10 seconds. They couldn't just say the line, I'm from a different country. They actually had to say the name of a country each time. Do you want to start with Ashley? Oh, God, yes. OK. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. So every 10 seconds, I'm going to blow it. Good okay. luck. OK. Back that we realised you missed the very first one. I, 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 How many countries did I say? I was so six, proud of myself. 61. 61 countries. Yeah, you got, you got it up to 10 high at one yeah. point. Yeah. And I thought you'd done very well, but we had to look at the footage and you didn't. The very first, So one, one can is what you scored. <laughs> Ashling, did you get it? Do you know? Oh my god, I got it! <laughs> oh my god, I got it! <laughs> I, I have gotten it. I've never made a woman do that before. <laughs> Yeah, I've got, I've gotten it. I don't want to be Mr. Piss on the phone, but did you get it using that sum there? <laughs> what happened? I didn't get it. <laughs> Ashley, what happened there? Talk us oh, through what happened. Oh, who knows what happened, <laughs> Jimmy? I do. I do. <laughs> I got it at nine hundred, and. What did I get to? You got to 900 and you took 24 off, and instead of 876, <laughs> you thought that was 986. <laughs> I just saw what I wanted to see, like many women with hope. <laughs> and I ruined it, like so many women with hope. <laughs> um, Ashling, now you've been spending a lot of time in the US recently. Have you enjoyed living there? Yeah, but I'm still the same old Irish girl I've always been, Jimmy. <laughs> what part of America were you staying in? <laughs> and also, are we in slow motion? <laughs> you can do an American accent, though, can't you? Of course. Yes, of course. Um, I... Uh, yes, Is this I it? <laughs> uh, let me, no, I do the Irish accent here because it sets me apart, but really, I'm from Scunthorpe. <laughs> um, Ashling, have you got a mascot? Well, yes, Jimmy. Um, I am really going to try hard today, and I know that it's all about the three C's, uh, comedy, uh, <laughs> accounting, and spelling. And <laughs> uh, I, my mascot is just down here, so, little Dickie, if you wouldn't mind covering for me for well, two seconds. <laughs> you've got the small talk guy right here. Yeah, just... <laughs> um, like, banter away with some of your witty anecdotes. Yes, white chit starts with the <laughs> two... Um, <laughs> <laughs> the two undercover FBI people posing as Mexicans. And they do some wonderfully sensitive material at the start. <laughs> but the Done now, Richard! It's all <laughs> fine. Um... <laughs> so, uh, they say, Jimmy, dress for the job you want, not for the job you have. Bonsoir, <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> Um, and so this is me for the maths. 40 minus 60. Well, obviously, that can't be done. It's impossible. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then for the old, uh, for because it's not just about numbers, is it, Rachel? Well. OK. Um, <laughs> that's one person. It's also about words, Susie. Wow. It's me, Susie Dent. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think any impression that starts with the name of the person you're doing is good. <laughs> And then, obviously, you can't just uh, focus on numbers and words, can you? It's also about having a couple of jokes. So I thought, who better to emulate than my hero? <laughs> <laughs> it, like, it looks like <laughs> Susie Denton's gone lesbian, is what it looks like. <laughs> Which, funny you should say that, Jimmy, because that's how people talk about you behind your back. <laughs> it's me, <laughs> Jimmy Carr. Hey, <laughs> what, why, did the, why did the chicken cross the road? Cos your mum's fat. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> I lead Ashling in the direction of a make-it-yourself lunch. Would you like to learn how to cook like a Croatian grandmother? Oh, yes, please. Do you know what a Croatian grandmother's called? Please. Baba! <gasps> like Baba Ganoush must be Granny Ganoush. <laughs> <laughs> Former soldier turned chef Chiro promises to teach us two of his Baba's favourite dishes. This is beautiful, Chiro. Right? So, what we do today, we start with my and my grandma's uh, favourite. It's an apple pumpkin strudel. I've never had apples and pumpkins no, together. No, it's, it's a good combination. Anxious to impress, we get appling. Have I done well there? Is that yeah, good? that's pretty well. Better than. Ashley. Oh, come Ashley. on. I'm a bit more appealing. Uh, <laughs> Joe. That's that was me. I hi, I'm Joe Lysett. Cheers. Cheers. It's a strudel. Mm. Yum. Thank you. Thank you. All of this? No, the half. Oh. Next we make the pastry. Oh more, more, more. more. Much more. Okay. Stop, Joe. Stop. Stop. Ah! Looks delicious so far. Mm. Yeah. Who's ready for strudel? <laughs> After a few minutes, there needs to feel like a boob. You know, you if you feel touch like a, boob. a boob. I've never felt one. And we spread some flour. Onto a towel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gosh, your cleaning bill must be extortionate. Yeah. Who wants to roll out that stuff? Okay. Do it gently. It's not your boyfriend. Oh, well, if it was my so. boyfriend, I'd be pounding away. Do you know what I mean? We squeeze the filling to get rid of some of the moisture. And spread liberally. Oh, oh, look at that. Yum. Before the reason for the cloth is revealed. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep strudel rolling. Oh. It's like lifting just, a body into the boot of a car. We try to dispel that image with some butter and sugar. It's then into the oven. Bye bye. And now for the main. And if you're a fish, look away now. And I see fishes. How do they look to you? The fish look like they both had two really negative attitudes to life. We in Dalmatia say it's like the fish needs to swim three times. First in the sea, second in olive oil by frying or baking, <laughs> and third in white wine by eating, mm. so in the stomach. Same for me. Contractually prevented from working with dangerous fish, we leave their prep to the master. So I cut them... Oh, like... you're going quite deep. Yeah, yeah, that's... look how much Meat fish there they is, have. Yeah. yeah. Now we place them nicely in the in the yeah. pan. <clears throat> then, in the course of routine bants... Do you like fish? We make a shocking discovery. What? To be honest, no. How many times have you eaten fish? Once. That's amazing. <laughs> 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 That's done, right? The fishes receive an oiling... Bit on your tongue, mate. Yeah. ..and a seasoning... <laughs> ..before being sent to an oven of their own. Bye-bye, fishy. After approximately 20 minutes, our authentic lunch is served. Oh, wow, look at the colour of that meat. It's final swim. Yes. Mmm. That is so delicious. The red scorpion is incredible. You should try some. As we eat, we probe the limits of Chiro's ichthyophobia. Do you like smoked salmon? You must like smoked salmon. It's like mud. Fish fingers? Oh. One fish, what I really like, it's yeah. tuna from the can. Oh! Yeah. But that's just the only one. I could eat all day, but we need to leave room for the strudel. Mm. No sooner is it preempted than said strudel arrives. This looks very Croatian. Mm. And is sliced and served with homemade ice cream. That's vanilla ice cream. Vanilla. That's how people describe strudel. Joe. Thank you. Oh. Mmm. Mm. I would say, just as a note, I prefer a bigger spoon. Does this remind you of your baba? Mm -hmm. Do I remind you of your baba anyway? Yeah. <laughs> she eats also with a big spoon. Yeah. Ashing B, mm. how have you found this experience? 
I have found it so rewarding because at the start we had a bit of a rocky relationship but I worked hard to earn your love and I feel mm -hmm. like I got it. Maybe if you gave fish the same chance you might learn to love fish too. Yeah, mm. never. Mm. <laughs> I can love you but not the fish. Fair enough. Hello. There is a loaf of bread in the lab. Slice the loaf as neatly as possible. You may use one tool only, and that tool must be found in this caravan, where there is also a loaf of bread, but that's, the bread's not here, the bread's in the lab. Slice in the lab, so not this loaf, a different loaf. You have five minutes, your time starts now. Right, okay. Well, that's quite sharp. OK, so they have to slice a loaf of bread that was in the lab, but they were only allowed to take one item to slice it with, and that item had to be found in the caravan. Lovely. It's a standard task. Yep. Do you want to see Ashling doing almost that? Yeah! <laughs> I already... I just only okay. realised what the task was. <laughs> <laughs> there is a loaf of bread in the lab. Interesting. Without a doubt, I'm going to use this pan. Oh, the bread smells delicious. I mean, there's one slice. I don't want to waste this bread. Ow! Fuck myself. <laughs> there's blood on the loaf. Ow! Ow! I've cut myself again. <laughs> there be any sadder sight <laughs> than a blood-covered loaf of bread <laughs> in the wrong room? <laughs> any points? No, she didn't take... No. She didn't go to the lab. No? No points. No. No points to oh, Ashling. No points. Points. Have you got a mascot? Yes, I have brought a picture of my mammy. Aww. With me as a baby. My mother loves language and English and she especially loves punctuation. Um, she'll kind of throw it in anywhere, like she's mad for an inverted comma. <laughs> so as you see here, it's myself and my mother, Irish, both wearing green. And on the back she has, Ashling and Helen, we were always proud to be Irish and loved wearing green. <laughs> and she does it on my birthday card. She writes things like, um, happy birthday to my wonderful daughter. <laughs> What do you mean, Mother? <laughs> did your mum used to be a jockey? She did used to be a jockey, no, yeah. That's not a euphemism, that's like a real question. No. <laughs> yeah, I was just a result of a ride that went too far. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh-oh. Hello, Bob. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Would you like a quick chat before I... Uh, no, thank nope, you. Thank you. That's a relief, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see what we got here, then. Alex, me old pal. Balance Alex. You have ten minutes to place your counterweights on your end of the seesaw. You may not use humans to balance Alex. Most balanced Alex wins. All right, Alex, will you get onto the seesaw for me? No, not till... not till... not till you've finished. Not till you've finished. Oh, so I've just got to guess how much you weigh. OK. Let me just give a feel of you, just to test. Oh, Jesus! God, you're heavy, Alex! Thank you. Oh, my God! We're going to have to think outside the box here, Alex. I'll be back in a minute. I'm back off to the shed. I'm actually going to harness the box down. So what I'm doing is I'm tying... Does anyone here have a car? I've got a car. OK, can you get your car? Right down, keep coming. So I'll need a bit more slack from you, Alex. Straight back, straight back. Keep reversing. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think I'm done. Stop the clock. Thank you, Ashling. You're welcome, Alex. Pretty sweet idea, I'd yeah. say. It's not cheating as far as I'm concerned. Where did you trap the rope? 
How, how... We tied it around the middle part twixt two windows. Because the strongest part of a car is famously the window, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so Ashling attached me to a 220 stone Ford C Max. <laughs> <laughs> it went like this. Irish words or phrases that we should be made aware of that English people wouldn't know? There are lots of different phrases that uh, are technically English but people don't understand. Like, for example, my mother um, sent me a text today. Actually, David, you could translate if, mm. if they don't understand. Would you do that? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, so, I mean, it's fairly simple. She was like, Hi, Ashling! Well, didn't someone on the rob leg it off with your man's messages after he's after coming out to spar because she only after horse and nagging and a pint of my wadi into her? And she was so gee eyed off her hoop that she didn't she wallop him with one of them yokes you lobbed down the jacks. The guards found the poor her hiding and shivering like an abused piebald in a hot press in her gaff, offered to give him the shift or the ride if they let her go. Ah, but you're lucky you know yourself, she was grand like. <laughs> David, what was that again? Just the police are investigating an incident in a shop. <laughs> Hello. 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 My um, young colleague knows how to order. Haram Kurtoj Kolachot Kerig. You don't have to sound old. Cone shaped dough is basted in butter and roasted on a spit. Traditionally served sweet, there's a controversial new savoury slant to the chimney cake scene. We decide to order a brace of options. Ashleen, I'm bang out of huff. Got any? Have I got huff? Yes, I do. Lay some brother. huff down. I've Don't splash huff. your huff in my face. How, 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 whoa, that's, that's a lot, a lot of huff. Kusunen. 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 Thank you. Mm mm mm. We're lucky to have got this spot. Do you feel like a bit of a chump without the ice cream bit, if I'm honest? I'm going to start with ham and I'll feed back. If this... you did it the other way around, I think you were a psychopath. Hello. That's a bit like a subway. Mm -hmm. This. Like a stand 99. Can I... Do you want me? Yeah, of Can course. I? My funnel's good, but I do get worried that I might like... It's also mm. known as a funnel cake. Go into it and get a bit. Nice. That's the only trouble with getting nice. him. Oh. It's hard to eat. You're making elegant work of it. I think sometimes you either have class or you don't, you know? Now, you know, Greg, sometimes in the show, occasionally we set someone a sneaky task and the others don't do it. This happened to Mark last week. Yeah. Occasionally it goes wrong. Occasionally we set a task to one person and it backfires. And that happened to the person in this task and also to us. This is what happened. <laughs> taken with this golden pineapple and other esteemed company best portfolio of pineapple photos wins you have six months your time starts now start the clock Alex take a photo of the pineapple in, in esteemed, esteemed company. company for six months and so we gave Ashling the pineapple thought this would be fun she's gonna have to carry around a pineapple with her for six months you didn't carry it around with you, did you, Ashling? <laughs> well, to me, the most esteemed company I know is my lovely mother. So I posted the f pineapple <laughs> to Ireland to my mother. Helen. Helen. And my mother has spent six months going around our town, Kildare, photographing the pineapple <laughs> with her iPad that she barely knows how to use, Alex. I know. Do you want to see one of the photos oh, my that she's taken? Mommy. She started off with this oh. in esteemed company. <laughs> We're from a horse racing community. This is a blacksmith making a horseshoe with a Taskmaster pineapple nearby. <laughs> Another one here. Oh, well, two here, actually. One religious, one horse-based. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, my poor mother. There's still many more, but I've made a little montage of a few of the others. 
<laughs> is that a real life-size jockey so statue these, in these, your home? No, it's a real jockey on pretend horses where they learn how to ride. And my mother... How to what? How to, how to <laughs> ride the horses. <laughs> and if a boyfriend of mine passes three months and makes it to Ireland, my mother brings him back and puts him on one of those simulator horses to see how fast he can go. She wants to vet him to see if he'll be good enough at sex for Yeah, well, that's... I mean, that's what it appears to be. <laughs> good to know that Helen vets them in such a precise manner. <laughs> I think that for several reasons we should have a round of applause for Ashling's mum. <laughs> Ashling, your turn to choose. Could I get a vowel, please? Of course. Rachel? E. Um, could I get another vowel, please? A. Can I get a consonant, please? Yeah. R. Have. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Looks like my luck's coming in. <laughs> um, now, can I get... So, can uh... you have? Can you have? You can't say get. Can I... Because can... Ra uh, Rachel's getting them. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get it, because uh... she's got them. <laughs> Professor Riggins, I'm learning me English slowly but surely. <laughs> may I please have a vowel, please, Rachel? You That's may. That's better. Thank you. I. Um, uh, and another consonant. If it's an N. D. Oh. Oh. Uh, could I get a T? No. Oh, um... <laughs> another vowel, please. A. And a consonant. I can't get any more vowels, can I? You can have one more, I think. Oh, um, can I have one more? Yeah, you can have one more. Let's go crazy. No, do you know what? I'm going to stay sane <laughs> and get two more consonants, please. <laughs> S and <laughs> Z. Richard, how many letters? Well, look, given that there was a five, yeah. I have a definite six, I feel. OK. So what was your five, Sean? Lynx. Do you know what I like about this look on Richard, if you don't mind me saying, babes? Sure. Is that very much like your movie. White chicks. Yes. Let's keep it relevant. Uh, yes. This looks very much like you dressing up as a sort of, like, uh, girl who's like, oh, I don't know, I could never go out with anyone in the football team. Exactly. Uh, but then, like... There's a transformation. Th oh, There's a transformation my giddy I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Back in the lab. Well, well, well. What have we here? A big old robot dick. <laughs> this looks like my kind of task. You like drain pipes? I love drain pipes. Right, sorry, pardon me. I was uh, overcome by the conical shape. <laughs> Remove the table tennis ball from the pipe. The pipe must not be moved. What table tennis ball? It's in the pipe. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Oh, Jesus. OK. From big old robot dicks mm -hmm. to the rules. OK, the rules are quite simple. <laughs> uh, they have to get the ball from within the big old robot tube. <laughs> um, and they were, they were allowed to touch <laughs> it. <laughs> But they weren't allowed to move it. They could ah, touch it. Touch, don't move. Touch, don't move. The traditional rules. <laughs> touch, this game. don't move. OK. And she was the last to realise where the ball was, so we're going to start with Ashling. And remember, touch, don't move. Remember that. Touch, don't move. <laughs> OK. So these drinks are drinkable? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to pour... Oh. Oh, when it comes out that... Right. OK. Is this doable? Does anyone check? OK, I'll have that to go in there. <laughs> so I can keep using the juice. That's not great. OK, I'm going to have to send down some... I just thought of a better idea. I'm going to plug it with a task. Wait now, am I allowed to move the tray? As long as the pipe doesn't move. Oh, it looks like it's moving in. No? Still stuck to the tray. Hmm. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. It's going to be bloody brilliant. You're definitely not moving the pipe. No. And then. <laughs> I think you've got to do a piece of paper. 
I have bloody blocked it with my piece of paper. Yeah! Stop the clock. It did move a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, in summary, <laughs> Ashling entered the room. She got pissed. <laughs> she put some paper down a tube. Mm. She flagrantly ignored the rules and turned the tube upside down. Yes. Right. I yes. A when a bird is in a tree and the tree is chopped down, the woodsman has moved the bird. And you are directly quoting from my chest tattoo. <laughs> Ashley, what have you got? Um, I have got for you, Jimmy. <laughs> Be better at miming, Rachel. Uh, I have... Uh, Rachel, are you signalling to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give a seven-letter word. The only one I've seen is bondage. <laughs> yeah, which is exactly what I, um, uh, got as, as... Yeah, bondage is what I got. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I, I took so long to say it, cos I felt really restricted by the idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think I you got. should definitely go with that and not bongo. Which you <laughs> <laughs> what, did you, what did you get? You got bongo. No, I didn't. Did you I get bongo? You get bongo. bongo. There's only one O. Exactly, Sean. <laughs> exactly. So I... you didn't get bondage either, did you? But everyone's stabbing me in the back today. Everyone I thought was a I'm friend. I'm afraid you're on the wrong team if you want to play hard and fast with the rules. <laughs> <laughs> there are reasons we're all here today, and the minute you disrespect the rules of countdown, you piss in the faces of everyone in this country over 60. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like quite a specialist website. Uh, sure. <laughs> How many did you get? Seven. Well, let's hear your seven. Bondage. No! <laughs> <laughs> Using this flame, light the candle in the caravan. The fastest wins. I understand this, and my time starts. Your time starts now. So I've got to get this out to the caravan. <laughs> Nish fulfilling his contractual obligation to restate the task. <laughs> Are you ready for the first attempt? Sure. So I guess this, Alex, is all about being, um... Patient, mm -hmm. uh, calm, mm -hmm. uh, planning a strategy. Yes. It's a small candle. No one's just going to pick it up and no. just gallop out of the room, are they? Um, do you want to watch Ashling B? Yeah. Off we go. <laughs> Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Oh! It's already gone. Can I. Can I relight the fire? No, it says use that flame. We've got nine minutes left. No, 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 you took nine seconds. <laughs> to what? To destroy your chance. Surely not. Yes. This is a real shame. It's great. I mean, I, I sort of admire it, you thought. OK, I'm going to run at the door, let's see what happens. <laughs> The target was 961. Nine, six, Joe, did you get it? Uh, nice. a thousand. <laughs> Ashling, did you get it? Um, yes, Jimmy, I got it, yes. <laughs> so, turn this water dirt. <laughs> I took the 75 there. <laughs> <laughs> and I time set by six. Of course you did, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> and I got 450 there. And the tree. <laughs> the what, sorry? The tree. There is a tree! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, t times that by two. Multiplied it then, did you? <laughs> and then, <laughs> what did that get you? <laughs> well, Rachel, no, you, I mean, you can get it from there, can't you? Oh, I don't want to patronise the girl, Jimmy! <laughs> 
36. Of course. And then just add on a 550 there. And so you get yourself. Well, no, you've run out of room. Don't count. <laughs> <laughs> so you get um, nine. The clue really six, would be the number that's written one. up there. Yes. <laughs> She's only bloody got a dollar. But before we can cop the city's culture, we must first master Hungarian, one of the hardest languages for native English speakers to learn. Waiting, as if by appointment, is our poker face Hungarian tour guide, Miklos. Ashling. Miklos. R Richard. Richard. I've been Richard. saying it wrong my whole life. No, but the Hungarian way is right. OK. Yes. The stress is always on the first syllable. On the first one. What so you would go supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Exactly. Okay. With an hour to conquer its 10 dialects, 18 noun cases, Udskar. and 14 vowel sounds, uh -oh. oh, we're like the Teletubbies. Mm -mm. You could probably lose that vowel, I'd say. Miklos starts to get our linguistic shears tight. All the best. Never mind, Riha. OK. Finally, when you drink, you want to say cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Egeshigadre. Egeshigadre. That's how everything sounds okay. after you start drinking. Uh, how do I say thank you? Kusunum. Kusunum. I'm never going to forget that. Now we've achieved near fluency, we start lining our eyeballs with landmarks. Miklos insists that we document these momentous moments by attaching a smartphone to a stick and turning the lens on our very selves in the selfie tour. So now we are approaching the parliament. Mm -hmm. You might ask why such a small country has such a huge parliament. Corruption. No. Oh. Because it was built in 1896 uh, when Hungary was three times as big as, as it is now. Uh, the part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. So if you'd like to take a, a selfie. It just feels like an Ozzy Osbourne album cover. I just think you should uh, look happier. I am looking happy. That's Richard like a Christmas. And what could almost pass for a montage, we click through the Museum of Ethnography. OK, you ready? Celebrated socialist poet Ottila Josef and leading homicide detective Columbo, reft here because of Peter Falk's Hungarian ancestry and shared surname with the 19th century politician. You come this side. Here we go. And then looking straight up. Wow. That's a great good, selfie. Yeah. We get the bridge in. Within two hours, we've almost wiped the city dry with our infernal wand. Leaving one last sight to scope, the Hardik Memorial. A popular spot for students. Before their exams, they come here and they touch a sensitive part of the horse and they think it will bring luck. If you look up, and oh you, you see at the shiniest part, yes. uh, you will see what I. Uh, because I'm people have been about. rubbing it. Yeah. Give me a leg up, Richard. <sighs> oh, great. You made it. The yes. last uh, Hungarian word we are going to learn is Turk. Turk? What's yes. Turk? That sounds cute. And since it belongs to the horse, and horse is low. Low? Low. The low Turk. Oh, wait, no, that's horse balls, is it? Uh, well, low you tuk. said that. I don't use such words. Take the selfie stick. Mm. There we okay. go. Yeah. Get the low tux in. Please, let's not cheapen this. There's a lot of horse to get in here. <laughs> OK. I think so, my head's in the way of the um, undercarriage. Thank you very much. It was great fun. It's very fun. Mikolos, or as they say in Budapest, Tushadurin. Bonjour, Alex. Hello, Ashling. Oh, right, fine. Don't reply in the language I came in with. Hello, Sally. Hi, is this an art task? I'm wearing Day of the Week socks, but it's the wrong day. I don't give an <laughs> S. Primary school. Feeling, vibe. OK. Just saying. Was it a happy time? For me? Yeah. My first day wasn't. Someone had done a poo in the sand pit. <laughs> Make a funny little flick book film. The mat beneath your feet is a paper. The camera above your head will take photos of your paper. Funniest of funniest little flick book film wins. You have one hour. Now flick the flick book. 
Your time start, your time star, your time s your time yeah. Right, I did it backwards, didn't I, Alex? <laughs> I want to, if I may, drill down into the narrative because I do think this is an allegory. Yes. My perception is that you're that you you think that love is jumping at the wrong man, <laughs> he, him deflecting you, and by chance you ending in the arms of the right man, and then you're forced to eat shit. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually it. Yeah. Ring my mother, she'll tell you that's pretty much my relationship history. <laughs> because when you meet the right guy, you think, oh, this is going to be great, this is going to be amazing. They're like, no, I brought all my past issues. <laughs> In the form of dog shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. From this other bitch I was seeing. <laughs> Ashling. Ashling. Mm. Um, how many letters did I get? In what I what the game we just played? Yeah, yeah, in this game, yeah. Um, I got um, uh, eight. <laughs> eight. Mhm. Mm okay, Vic. Five. Sean. Five. <laughs> okay, what did you really get? Auditors. Not what did David get and pass to you? What did you get? I got what he gave me, and it was auditors. Oh. <laughs> You, Callum. you crack under interrogation. Yeah. Quite easy. <laughs> yeah, I got a little help from a friend. It's not cool to have someone help you out. Then I'm sorry, but I don't like this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm eating my word. <laughs> You're eating his well, Let's word. see if she follows through <laughs> with this. <laughs> okay, there's going to be no edit here. We're going to watch this. <laughs> this you is... know what? I'm so angry at you. I'm going to swallow it as well. <laughs> Sean, what was your five? <laughs> Turfs. Turfs. Vic, what was your five? Mine was Frost. <laughs> frost, OK. And John? Uh, a drift. Mmm, go on. A drift. Well, six to John. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm going to have to spit out the paper cos I feel a bit woozy from the pen ink. Can you put that in a bin or something? I can see why you didn't finish that. It's pretty gross. <laughs> Have you got an Irish accent? Have you got an Irish accent off me? No, I don't think so. <gasps> <laughs> Hello. 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 You? Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. 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 Oh, right. Do you... Do, you, do we... Do we strike you? Shall I take the task from this lady? Or, uh... Would you like to? Yes, I suppose so, yeah. I'll, I'll take the task. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Oh, we can so do this. I write and perform a song about this woman. Best yeah. song wins. You have five minutes to talk to the woman. And then 30 minutes to write her a song. The time starts now, so we need to gather as much information okay. as we can. Hi, so what's your name? Rosalind. Where are you from originally? Southport. What do you do for a living? Yeah. Um, Japanese translator. Do you have children? Yes, got two sons. Two, are they good men? Yes, or they're or a bit inept at things, but that's fine. So what do you do to pass yeah. the time? I'm an athletics official, track judge, and I do long jump and uh, the sprints. Long jumper, long leaping. Jumper. Who's your favourite band of all time, music Good idea. might lead us to some music. Good idea. Ooh, like Mozart. Mozart? Mozart, one of my favourite so bands as well. Off. Have you stolen much in your life? Yeah, well, when I was about ten, I used to do a little bit of sort of sweetie shoplifting with my best friend, Elaine. I also play the cello. Right. Do you play the cello with anyone or on your Yeah, own? string quartet, yeah. My, my husband and a couple of friends. And what's the name of your... Um... My husband is called Alan. And did you ever do it in public or was it just... Yeah, it's not normally when people are sitting in rows watching. It's, yes. It's just the sound. Do you eat meat, Rosalind? Um, as long as it's kosher. Which ah. sort, what's your favourite meat? 
Chicken, I suppose. Chickens. Mm. What's uh, your favourite film? Oh, Hangover. Hangover one and two. Oh, favourite food? Oh, beans on toast. Yeah, quite right. Can I just ask, are the other two in the string quartet, are they a couple as well? They used to be. And then oh. one got um, septicemia, so he lost the use of three fingers in his oh, left yeah. hand. Would you like yeah. to be able to fly? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's first four questions. <laughs> Do we strike you? <laughs> Have you ever stolen? What is your favourite meat? Would you like to be able to fly? <laughs> Thankfully, he had teammates to take up the slack. <laughs> Hello, lady. Welcome to Tuscanbury Festival. They've got soul. You know them as the POC. Here they are. Woo! Hello, Tuscanbury. Hello. Hello. Uh, welcome. Nice Woo! to see you all. Um, wow, <laughs> what a rush. We are a product of, of conception. conception. And we're delighted to bring you here today our debut track, which is called... Quite good, considering. Quite good, considering. Let's have the music. Rosalie. Rosalind is from Southport, Rosalind so sweet. Rosalind was a news agent, but she won't eat meat. Rosalind has two sons, they are good men, but inept. Rosalind is a thief, but it keeps her out of debt. Rosalind, geriatric family, she's just quite far. Sadly, well, he contracted septicemia. Rosalind's a nightmare. She's just a white heart for a woman of her age. Rosalind, average children, she plays quite well. But not in front of people. Not in front of people. Thank you. Very bad. different. <laughs> very different takes on the same one. <laughs> that is one of the bravest lines in rock history. <laughs> Rosalind is a <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> but is Rosalind here? I think she might. Rosalind. Oh my God! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> um, you've never met her before. No. Never met her since. You just. But we that... captured the essence of her. 